Today we will learn basics of creating cut crease makeup and I will also show you how you can create cut crease eye makeup on hooded eyes as well as saggy eyes and deep set eyes also. Hello everyone, this is Ayush. Welcome back to my channel. I'm first starting by my eyebrows because I want to get them done earlier so that I can fix them if I make any mistakes later. Brush them down, fill the upper edge and brush them upwards and fill the lower edge of your eyebrow. Try to keep the arch as high as possible because you want to leave more space for the eye makeup. Now I'll take a concealer. It is from inside with a flat concealer brush. Make sure the product is not too much. That's why I wipe the product on my eye so that there is no excess. I will start shaping the arch and whatever is wiped on my eyelid will be used to spread all over the eye. I will spread this to my socket, not below that and also will take it to the inner corner because these areas have a little bit of darkness and a little bit of powder should also go there. That's why I want them to stick. I am going to shape the eyebrow where I made the mistake. And now let's look at the brushes. Your brush for eye makeup should always be one third of the distance from the lash line to your arch of the brow or your eyebrow. So one brush is looking small, that is great. A smaller brush is great for cut crease eye makeup and the second one looks a little larger. So I'll go with the smaller one. When it comes to putting the powders, we will come from top to the bottom. I will take that smaller brush and will start applying a darker color, but it is a transition color, meaning it's not going to be the darkest color of my eye makeup. It is going to be the medium one. And where to put it? I am going to apply it right above the socket. I will feel the socket and I will start applying it on the bone because beneath that I am going to apply the concealer for cut crease. So there is no point of putting it there. If your brush is large then put your brush at the center of that line so that it goes halfway up and halfway down. After all you will cover the bottom part with the concealer. Take a lighter color and start putting it underneath the arch of your eyebrow and spread it outwards and inwards. And make sure you blend it and both the colors look like they are merging into each other instead of making a sharp line. I will take this lighter color to the inner corner as well because my inner corner is very deep and it looks sunken in so I will put lighter color there so it looks coming forward, it doesn't look any more deep. It's time to put the darker brown color right at the socket with a flat shader brush. It is a flat brush so it is going to give me more precision and I will blend it from the end of the crease to the other end and will make sure that I am creating that flick at the outside with all type of colors. Do one by one on both the eyes and check if it looks equal or not. I will take more color unless I am happy with the intensity. Keep taking more and go little by little. Now take the blending brush and blend all the colors together so they create a smooth gradient. This darkness is enough but I was not happy with this darkness so I took more of black eyeshadow and I'm going to put right at the socket in a really tight place and will blend it really lightly so it doesn't make my whole eye black but it will give me the most amount of dimension and I'm doing it for the camera so that it shows more. You don't need to do it if you don't want to. Now I will take a concealer from Swiss Beauty. I'm going to take the lightest color in it and will put it on the lid. Let's figure out where should you put the concealer on your eye. First put the concealer and open your eye. You will see that it disappears. If it disappears then you should apply it the way that it appears no matter even when your eyes are open. One really common way of doing so is applying the concealer right at your lash line and open your eye completely. This will apply the concealer where your eyelid touches and some people say that this is the point how high you should go with the cut crease. But this is actually a part that gets covered when you open your eyes completely like you're staring at someone. So if it shows when your eyes are relaxed open then it is fine, go to the side. But if you're like me and if it gets covered then go a little above. Not a whole one millimeter above but a little above. If one millimeter above is fine then go for it because it looks funny on me so I'm going to go just a little high and create the shape. Create an almond shape with your concealer then make a smooth wing with that concealer just like you do on your lash line. This will give you that flattering shape that you see online. Now it's time to powder this concealer. At this step, instead of setting it with a loose powder or any other type of powder, try to set it directly with the color that you want to put on. I want a pinkish nude color. It's a really light color. It's not even showing on the camera. With a q-tip. First I am placing the color. Then I am rubbing the q-tip because rubbing the q-tip gives the most pigment payoff. I'm taking a slightly darker pink color at the corners because I want that dimension in the cut crease also. I want to intensify that crease even more so I'm going to take that black color again and I'm blending it right at the crease and making sure I'm not applying it on the concealer. 
if you feel like your concealer didn't give you that good shape then you can also apply it over the concealer i have done that to get the desired shape of the cut crease now take that same concealer and apply it at your bottom lid as well and apply it all over the eyelid now take the q tip and take the darkest brown color that you have used on your eye and apply it at the outer corner for the inner corner you can either go with the lighter color or just apply that same color with a lighter hand and here i am creating a wing with that shadow and this wing is aiming towards the wing of the cut crease it's not parallel it looks like it is going to meet that wing i want to make this wing connected to the upper lash line also so it makes that lifted cat eye effect now apply a wing with a liquid liner and that wing should also be in an alignment with your cut crease it should look like it is going to meet the cut crease slightly thicker from the outer corner and really thin at the lid because you want to show everything that you have created remove all the liner mistakes with a spoolie brush and you're done if you want to know how i created this flawless base then definitely check out this video Smash that like button if you like this makeup and subscribe to my channel if you want to stay tuned because next week I'm going to post a video on makeup for men. I'll meet you in a brand new one. Bye guys.